Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Charlotte, if you didn't know. Today is Christmas Eve. Ah, it's Christmas Eve, yay. I wanted to make a video today talking about 2016, basically summing up what was good for me, what made me smile, some of the things that happened, just basically a summary of my year. Partly to tell you about the things that have happened that you might not have known about, talk about the things that you do know about, the things that I've loved, all of that. I'm just gonna get started, so here we go. I need to do this really quickly because my camera is being an absolute shitbag. The first few things that I'm going to talk about are products and the first thing that I've really enjoyed using and I really like. I only discovered it about a month ago but I have fallen in love with it. It is amazing. Can you see that? Block my face. Look at that. Camera, look at that. You can't see it, I'll just tell you. It's a Mario Badescu drying lotion for spots uh, and blemish prone skin. It's basically a liquid with a pink clay on the bottom and you dip a cotton bud down to the bottom to get some of the pink stuff and put it on your spots overnight and oh my god it is the only thing that I've ever bought that has worked it properly works even for spots that are really big and angry and red and infected it dries them out the first time I used it I had one on my chin and I was like what's it gonna do it dried out completely and it just went down to like a little mark it's really worth getting it's about 16 pounds so it's a bit more expensive but it works and it's better to get one product that actually works than 15 that don't. If you have blemish prone skin I would really recommend it. The next thing I'm going to talk about is contouring. It's something that I discovered this year because I think it's only been around for a couple of years. Am I still recording? Yes. I've used a few kits and I've talked about this in a few videos and in a few blog posts but I really enjoy it. I have a problem with doing my makeup. Looking at my face in the mirror but contouring is something that has made me fall in love with doing makeup again. Because I've always loved doing my makeup and creating different looks. But when you have the issues that I have with looking at yourself and how much you hate your face, it makes it a lot more fun and pleasurable. Um, it's still not something that I love doing, but doing contouring is something that I've included now. Whenever I do my makeup, I always do contouring. So if you haven't tried it, get yourself a cheap high street contouring product. Try it out. If you like it, then you can invest more. Yeah, voila! The next few things I'm going to talk about are things that I've watched. And the first one being a film that everyone panned and thought was shit, but I thought it was amazing, and that is Suicide Squad. <laughs> I really enjoyed this, I've been looking forward to seeing it and Sam's been looking forward to seeing it. And we went to see it twice in the cinema. And I think we've seen it once since then as well. I just love it, I think it's a really fun film, you don't have to be a fan of comic books to go and watch it. Just people on the planet. They're bad guys, worst of the worst. <laughs> One of the things that I really enjoyed was the Joker and Harley Quinn elements of it. There wasn't enough of that. I think everyone knows that. I could have watched a whole film with just those two and I would have loved it. So if you haven't seen it, then go and watch it. The next two things I've really enjoyed are TV shows and that is Dexter and The Walking Dead. I'd already seen the first episode of Dexter and I enjoyed it, but I forgot about it. And me and Sam rewatched the whole thing and I've got to admit, I was heartbroken on the last episode. If you don't know what it's about, it's a guy who works as a blood spatter analyst by day for the Miami Police Department, but by night he's a vigilante serial killer. What's not to love about that? Plus, he's ginger. And the next TV show is The Walking Dead. If you don't know what The Walking Dead is, it's basically a zombie TV show. But the thing that I love about it is it's not just a zombie TV show, it's more about the people left in the post-apocalyptic world fighting each other and trying to survive than it is about fighting zombies. Obviously there's zombies in it but if you're not a fan of zombie things then it's not just that so give it a try. I would say if you're not a big fan of gory things then it's probably not for you. The next thing I'm going to talk about is not a product or something that I've watched but it's a thing and that is driving. I hadn't driven for three years before I started driving again in, in June and oh my god I miss it so much. You don't realise how much your freedom and independence mean to you when it is taken away. I've been stopped driving before because of my eating disorder but I think the most I'd ever gone without driving was about nine months. I think it was about that but this time it had been like three years and it was shit because I obviously can't do public transport because I can't wheel myself very far and most public transport isn't wheelchair friendly. Taxis are a lot of money, um, especially as the only journey that I really do is to and from Sam's and it'd be about 50 quid to do that. 
the downside is it's very painful and petrol is very expensive because my car doesn't do a lot of miles but i love my car driving is it's just given me so much freedom it's given me a taste for freedom and independence i'm now looking to move out which is an exciting thought but it's also very stressful because the process is really shit driving is definitely something that's worth fighting for if you've had that taken away from you so something else that's happened this year is as you know i'm spending time with my nieces and We've had some really lovely times together this year. Last Christmas, you're breaking my heart, and the very next day, you gave it away. This year, I'll save me from tears. Give it when I do spend time with them, my relationship is just blossoming, um, especially with the youngest, Evie. She's two and she's just started sort of talking and interacting because she was poorly and she can now hear. So she's just started talking and it's great. So she says, la 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 boo, which is Charlotte, I love you, in case you haven't guessed. Hey, what does a cow say? Moo. Moo. What does a monkey say? What does a dog say? Two big things that happened recently. One is that I looked after the girls for the first time on my own. Sam was with me, but I mean without my mum or dad there. Um, my mum was ill and she had to go to hospital. And so I looked after Chloe and Evie, the two youngest ones, with Sam. And it was just, it was great. It was not only did we have fun, but it was just the fact that I was entrusted with that. Not that there was much choice because there was no one else to do it, but... It was good, it was a big milestone for me. And the other thing to do with girls is that a few weeks ago, Lola, who is Sam's daughter, and my nieces met for the first time, and they're meeting up again. We're all meeting up again next week, which is gonna be great. I'm gonna to get to give them their Christmas presents, which I'm looking forward to. I've got far too many things for them. I've got a massive gift bag, and then presents that overspill, but if you can't buy presents for your nieces at Christmas, then when can you buy presents for them? I buy them presents all the time, but that's beside the point. The next thing I've learned this year that has made me smile is realising that not all people are bad. I have had some real shitty relationships and people come into my life and I've got to be honest, a few years ago I kind of gave up on people. I obviously didn't give up on them completely because I now have a few people in my life that mean a lot to me and that's because of my relationship with Sam. I'm now, I've got to know his family and um, I have a relationship with like his daughter as well, Lola who you will meet now. Bye bye. So that's Lola and she's great fun and we have a lovely time together and obviously my relationship with Sam means a lot to me. It's really embarrassing talking about this because he's downstairs. And along that line, something else that I was gonna talk about is love comes when you least expect it. I wasn't expecting it at all, I was not expecting it, but being with somebody who means a lot to you and who you love is just amazing and somebody who treats you with respect and appreciates you is, you know, what more could you ask for? Something else that I've been through this year, which is a kind of a bad thing um, I wanted to talk about, pain sucks. I am in a lot of pain pretty much all day every day I'm in pain and it's shit my feet get worse they get worse throughout the winter and then they don't get any better when it gets not winter so they just gradually get more and more painful my migraines have been really bad but that's something else that I can talk to you about in a minute and I did make a video talking about my migraines pain is shit try things that are hard try things that test you and that you don't think you'll be able to do because chances are you can do them I came off a medication that I've been on for three years for my migraines this year and I was terrified but it's been great, I feel better for it. My migraines aren't any worse, they are better, but that's because of a new medication or a new treatment, which is the other thing that I'm gonna talk about. Botox, I had Botox this year. I've had two sessions so far and they, it's not for cosmetic reasons, it's for my migraines. And it's something that I never thought I would have done. It's 31 injections across my skull. I obviously can't move my forehead. Look, that's how much I can move my forehead. Not very much, but it's made a massive difference to my life. My migraines have gone from having them three or four times a week at best to once a week, once a fortnight, and that's only gonna improve, which is cool. It does have a bit of a side effect, obviously the forehead, and I get a bit of neck pain, but other than that, it's great. It's not a nice treatment to go through because it's a lot of injections in a very sensitive area, but it's really worth it. And again, if you wanna hear more about that, then watch the video below. 
again something else that's along those lines I am braver than I thought I was I've been through things this year that a I never thought that I would go through and B I never thought I would survive and I have and because of Sam I'm pleased that I have I never thought I'd be pleased that I'd be surviving but I am that's not to say that every day is great that's not to say that my brain isn't a peaceful place because my brain is an absolute shitter and things are difficult but there is a reason to fight now which is good the thing is when you find someone that you would live for that you would die for that you would fight for making that person happy and making that person okay becomes more important than appeasing the voice in your head the last thing i want to say to someone at this video of 2016 is i need to read it off my laptop when all hope is lost, then the most unexpected things can happen, things you never thought would. They may be good or painful, but they make you realise you want them and you'll fight for them, even if it hurts like hell. That can mean a lot of things. That can mean to do with your mental illnesses, that can mean in your life, your personal life, relationships, or events, things that happen that are hard, that you struggle through, and that really hurt you. But if there is something on the other side, or someone helping you through it, which I have now, it all feels worth it. So there's not really much more I can say than that. So that is my sum up of 2016. I hope you like it. I hope you had a nice Christmas because this is going up after Christmas. And thank you all for watching me this year. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for people saying they enjoy my videos and they help. I like it, it makes me feel nice. And I'm glad that I'm helping people so if you have any questions about anything we've talked about in this video, if you have anything I'd like to do, any suggestions for videos, then leave your comments and stuff down below and I try and reply to everyone unless I don't see it, I don't get a notification or it's something that makes me feel a bit uncomfortable. So there you go, thank you very much for watching and I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to commit to making more videos next year because I know I've been shit. I am trying to work on music but I'm trying to do everything and I just don't feel very well a lot of the time and it just gets on top of me. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you all find some peace and happiness in the new year. Bye. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Charlotte. If you didn't... Mute. The 26th of...